Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you how to convert a movie into something that will go on your iPod. Okay, um, just for an example, um, my daughter's got an iPod Touch, so that's um, what I'm going to convert it to. So, what I'm going to do first is I need to get um, this program, it's called Any Video Converter. Now, um, to save you going through, you know, all the search and all that, trying to find it, um, there should be a link to my website, um, just to the right of this video. It's tips4pc.com, okay? Um, now, just bear in mind that I do change the website, like the design every now and then, because I get sick of it. So it might look a little bit different, um, but it's basically, it'll you know basically be the same so this menu will stay the same it just might be a different color so what you could do is go to the home menu and press on freeware section okay now this is um, a section up that I've made that has free programs that are great um, and they don't nag you to buy them or anything like that they've um, got no spyware or malware in them or anything so they're great um, this is the link for any video converter so we'll click on that and I'll just give you a bit of a preview here right and also there's a couple of um, other articles that I've written about it if you want to see how to use it and also you can click on this to go and download it I'm just going to show you when it, what happens when you click on it Okay, you get taken to the actual website. I'm just going to make it bigger. Okay. Um, this is the free version and these are the download links here. So, just I just chose number one and started downloading it. Okay, so press on number one and it says AV, any video converter that stands for free. And I just pressed on save and then it lets you choose where you want to put it and I just put it in my downloads folder and that's it. Now I've already got it there obviously so I'm just going to press cancel okay so now I'm going to take you back to the program now what I'm going to do, you just open up the program obviously now the first thing you need to do is add video okay it's quite simple that's the only thing that you can press at the moment so press add video so what I'm going to do is find a video on my computer here. Okay. Now I'll just grab a video that I just made. Just grab that one and press open. Now this is my own video that I've made so I do have permission to um, export it or do whatever I want to it. Okay. Now um, this works for movies as well and stuff like that, but you'll have to check your copyright laws in your country to see if you can use it on your iPod or whatever, because that's what I'm doing. I'm exporting this file, right, to an iPod. Okay, so it could have been an AVI or it could have been a Windows movie, you know, one or anything like that. Okay. Now I want to convert it, right? But before I press this button, I want to go over here and press on this list. And these are the choices that I've got here. Okay? Now you can press on mobile phone one. I usually just press on this one here. Okay? It's actually giving me a preview of the movie there. I'll just pause that. Now, here's all the um, details of it down here. Now, I'm not going to get into any details. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you how to do it. Okay, so now that I've chose which one I want, like I could have made it into anything. If I made it into an MPEG, I could put it on a DVD and it would play in a DVD player okay but 
this one here DVD video for PAL which is Australia and the UK and this one here is for the USA okay NTSC so we're not compatible so I'm in Australia so I wouldn't make an NTSC okay all right but at the moment we're doing something for an iPod so we pick this one here now we've got to go over here and we make sure that this is ticked and everything's right so we've got the movie and we want to make it into an mp4 and we're going to press convert okay so what it's going to do is convert that movie now you can go and add more videos and stack them up if you like um, also when you're finished you can go and say open output folder and it'll take you straight there okay because sometimes it's hard to know where things are getting saved okay here it is here so it went to my username into the documents any video converter and then mp4 okay if I converted it to Windows Movie Maker it would have a Windows Movie Maker folder here okay I'll just show you what I mean. See, it's got an MP4 folder. If I was converting something to AVI, then it'd have an AVI folder here. Now, I'm not going to show you how to put that on your iPod, because if you've got an iPod, you should know. Usually you use iTunes and stuff like that. Um, so, it's quite simple. When that's finished, it will be available. Alright, um, well, I hope that helps. Um, thanks for watching.